Well, what I'm taking away is astonishment. I'm astonished at what an e-portfolio project can become. When I started this project, I was invited to help think about how to use the e-portfolio for uh, to support diversity efforts on a, on the University of Alaska's um, campus here in Anchorage. And I had sort of modest ideas that have turned out to be something astonishing. Um, so I find myself, after spending a week here, um, imagining the e-portfolio in extraordinary ways, in high potential ways that I never would have imagined. My participation in ePortfolio started um, probably around 1997, uh, maybe close to 20 years ago, when I met Helen Chen at Stanford University while I worked there. And I was concerned because it was just before the dot-com boom in Silicon Valley. And I was concerned that technology, which is moving, accelerating, the te technological developments that were accelerating, were driving us into a new age. We'd gone from the agricultural to industrial to the digital technological world, and everything was ramping up in Silicon Valley. Uh, to produce the next wave of, 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 of innovation for social life. And I mentioned to Helen, because she was getting involved with ePortfolios, that I hope the technology will help to reduce uh, suffering, reduce gaps in inequity, um, and that it doesn't leave the most vulnerable behind. And I wondered with her how technology how the development of technology uh, could could have um, you know could really uh, address uh, the human condition, uh, and we kept that in our conversations. I left Stanford, went back for ten years at, at ten years later, and Helen Chen's work in ePortfolios really grew, and she's the ePortfolio guru at Stanford. And we caught up with each other, and she was beginning to use ePortfolios to serve different uh, multicultural communities. And um, I was there to help design some new diversity programs, and I wanted the ePortfolio to be embedded in the programs that I did. So my experience with the ePortfolio is limited. And I didn't want to be, uh, I didn't want to take a deep dive into the portfolios. Um, I wanted to understand it in order to use it. I wanted it to be uh, something practical. So I discovered that the ePortfolio can be as simple or as complicated as you want to make it. And I needed for it to be simple. I needed to be able to learn about the ePortfolio in 10 or 15 minutes and be able to teach students how to use it in order to create um, a, 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 a learning experience where the ePortfolio was integral to the diversity work that I was doing. And I discovered when I first used the uh, uh, a portfolio that it was that easy and that I could teach it and students could do it and produce very, very, very powerful outcomes where students would share their portfolios at the end of a class. And the portfolio could be used to, for me to evaluate their learning, their qualitative learning, and for the students to share what they learned with each other in ways that not just reinforce the learning objectives, but also built relationships um, that would help students to feel like they belong. And at Stanford, the portfolio had been imagined as a new transcript to capture learning outside the classroom, to support academic advising and career development, 
and those kinds of things. Um, no one had imagined it as a tool for cultural identity development and wellness. No one had imagined it as a um, community building, nation building um, project. And the astonishment is that, uh, that, I, that, that grew from my experience with the University of Alaska and with the Native Student Services Program is that we reimagined the portfolio as much more than, an, an, than academic technology. That it could support the resurrection, the cultural resurrection of Native people by supporting Native people to document their own lives and to share it with each other and to share it not just locally on campus but to share it virtually with um, their communities, with their villages and for that sharing to create a network uh, of storytelling, wisdom um, collecting and, uh, uh, um, and, and, and the building, the rebuilding of, of lives and communities. And we couldn't imagine that something like that could be done and it could accelerate the, the resurrection of communities, the resurrection of knowledge and wisdom through an e-portfolio. Uh, in some ways the e-portfolio is just the excuse for connecting people, but in other ways it is the vehicle. So the astonishment I have is that I found myself this week participating in reimagining the ways technology can be used in the service of uh, closing the equity gap and helping to heal and overcome historical uh, 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 histories that are very troubling that continue to divide our world. So now it's become uh, a project in which we can reach for our highest ideals about how to come together through portfolios.